Good afternoon everybody. Um, today I'm going to do another little experiment. I'm going to dip onto bubble wrap. I haven't done the bubble wrap. I think I did for a test one time. Can't even remember how it turned out. I'm thinking that it mustn't have turned out very well because that's why I didn't do a video. But anyway, I'm going to give this a go on bubble wrap put in, um, well I'll just lay in my colours and see how I go. I'm just seeing if it gives any a different effect to what it um, did, you know, when I put on the foil. I've just, uh, ta I've just taped this down for, for any reason is because I've got the window open and I was worried that it will flip the bubble wrap and also, um, what was the other reason? Can't think got an old time I'm having a, mo a senior moment anyway so I, I want to put some paint and I just want to use these nice little canvases to dip and then I'll put them onto my rack so I've got some there was a set of four little canvases um, I'm going to use the leftovers of paints that we have sitting here Thank you all have um, seen Jilly's I think it'll be Jilly's last pour that she did here with the metallics she leaves, um, well probably by the time you see this particular video, she will be on a plane back to the old blighty in England. D dark, cloudy, rainy, snowy. She's not looking forward to going back because they're having particularly rainy, cold, cold weather. So I'll get back to this pour. I'm pouring on this bubble wrap and I'm going to see what happens. So... Just another little, I should probably mark out where my dip is going to be so I don't waste paint pouring it too far away. Okay, that's a bit harder said than done on bubble wrap. So if I just do it kind of like that, just to give me a guide not to pour too much paint in areas that's not needed. So obviously if it even turns out half nice, I will go bigger, but I uh, just wanted to try. So I'm thinking that this time, I probably don't need to layer as much paint as I did last time because, well, I got like about, what was it, three or four pours out of the, when I did the dip on aluminium foil. So just, Try and I know that a lot of it will sink into the dimples in the um, in the uh, oh, bubble wrap, but I'll I'm going to push the canvas a little bit more forcefully this time, and because it has got a bit of a cushion being the bubble wrap, I'll just see it may not it may be a complete disaster, but I am definitely going to put the video up and show you my disasters as well as the masters. So there we go. Hoping you're all having a good week and you're looking forward to your weekend, hopefully with family and friends. Or if you're having a week alone, then it might be something that <laughs> so it, you enjoy or not enjoy. But either way, I hope you keep yourself busy so you're enjoying your time. Well, I like doing these chevron patterns when I'm doing a dip. I just think, um, well, I just like the way they come out after doing the chevron patterns, the um, sort of like petals on a flower or, or leaf. So I sort of stick into the same pattern layout that I would do if I was just doing a dip from canvas to canvas. And you can certainly just start your dip as I've done in other videos I've done on a canvas and press another canvas on. That's quite easy way of doing it. This one um, is just to see if we get a different uh, print probably from the, the paper underneath. I actually want to put a little bit of purple in this, can you believe it? They're all um, Montmartre colours that I've mixed for previous 
uh, pores. So obviously this was, well, I think actually it was palm green, navy, white and um, cool red. So this is the Montmartre purple. Just want to add some purple in here. So I know this comes out, purple comes out lovely in the dip as well for whatever reason. Comes out very nice. I'm going to brighten it up. I'm going to jillify it with a bit of, go the opposite way now, a bit of the bright yellow, which is always nice, uplifting, nice, nice, nice. And that is it, I think. I won't. Now, I should really probably just press the edges. No, I'll do those afterwards. So I can see there's areas that are not covered, but I'm hoping by the time I have pressed it, because I can press a little bit more forcefully on this because it's got the sponginess of the um, bubble wrap, bubble wrap. I haven't prepared this canvas like I would normally put the nice tape on the back so I didn't get the back dirty. But because it is a, um, basically test canvases, i am not gone to that extra trouble of doing it. And you can bet that when I do it, they turn out beautiful and they, you know, could have been sold. Okay. Ooh, okay. That certainly does give a different look with the bubble wrap. See, it does. Look at that. I'm just going to put that one aside because I'll dip, keep dipping. Um, because that will actually start to form some cells for sure. But I'll just leave it there. And go to the next dip, dippy dip. Not sure if I should add any more colour or I should just dip over there. I don't want to let it get too muddy, so I'll just move it to a different area of the dip. The dipping surface. I'm really making a mess of this. I should have wiped my hands off in between. Okie dokie. Yes, me and Julie have been out today. We went to Coolum Beach. We sat at the uh, Coolum Beach Surf Lifesaver Club on the balcony. We had a glass of Prosecco and we had a beautiful lunch. Scallops and some little dipped, di actually dipped, dipped, what did they say they were? Dip lasagna. Um, never had them before, I'm not sure of the name, but they were delicious. So was our wine, it made me really sleepy. I just wanted to come home and have a sleep. But we had a good day out, so. Okay, just done the dip. Ooh, okay. These cells, what seems to happen with this is the cells form around the tips and looks particularly nice. So, well, I'll try doing this one. Oh, I've just dropped a bit of gunk into it. This might go a bit muddy now, but what I think I might do with the next one is I might do my edges, dip my edges first to see, get that lovely colour of the dips on the edge. That's nice. Whereas the others, I'll probably just end up painting a plain navy after they're dry. But that's particularly nice. So that's another test that, well, okay, dip your edges first would probably be gives you a nice gives you a nice um, surface now I think that I could do with adding some more paint to that because um, I look at it, it's gone a bit scrabby do a little bit scrabby do so I'll just hope that I don't turn it all to mud but you know what if I do that's okay it's only paint don't stress out about it Enjoy the process, that's what it's all about. Just enjoy it. So I have to do. I'll put more, a bit more of this green as I finish this up. 
Yeah, so have a look at this and see, I mean, I'll show you the end product, obviously, and just let me know what you think. I know so many people will think I've like had so many views on that um, foil one, and so many, oops, people said they were going to try it. Be interested to see how you went. Mostly probably better to contact me on my Acrylic Art by Jilly Cube Facebook page where you can just let me know. But but certainly give me um, a hoi on, these, on the YouTube channel if you've given it a go and you're not on Facebook. Just, just let me know how you went. Be interesting. So, a bit more of that yellow in. So not, not much of that yellow actually showed up because if you remember I only um, sort of give it a bit of a, a waft, waft over at the end but put a little bit more in so this one will obviously turn out different to what those other two are. But those are very pretty, really nice and I can see them developing beautifully, beautifully. Just a bit of the navy. There's always trying to experiment with you and for you. So if you can then think, oh yeah, I would like to try that that she did because you t it turned out well. Or if you can say, oh no, see Jill wasn't happy with results so you know not to but anyway that I'd like you to try even my failures because you might get something obviously to work where I don't but yes that definitely looks like Santa's vomit Santa's vomit I know probably not a nice thing to say but it's a nice colorful one isn't it Okay, this is really getting crazy. It's getting trippy now, hey? Really getting trippy. So I'm hoping I'll get the other two canvases out of this one. Okay, step away from the paint. Jelly. <laughs> Going a bit crazy there. So okay, I'll do the one that I've, I know I'm using my fingers on it. Okay. Not sure if you can actually see where I've put those, but I will definitely bring them back over for you to have a look at when I finish this pour or this this dip. A bubble dip, bubble dip, bubble dip. See, this is the reason why it's good to have your um, well, one having your cloth handy to wipe your dirty hands because this is a bit of a um, a messier process. Okay. And the other thing is to tape the back of your canvas if you... Ooh! Okay, got a little bit missing there. That's quite easy. Just finger pop some colour. Finger pop it, finger pop it. I can't really notice finger popping. I'll just do the corners where I may have... So that's different again, but still nice. Very nice. So I'll go for my fourth one. I could probably get heaps more out of that now. I'll do the edges again. So you're just pressing the edges in. Probably best to press it where there's not actually much paint. Let's see what it, oh, okay. There's the idea, isn't it? Look what I just did then. Okay, I'm gonna quickly get another canvas because there's the, um, might actually, I'm going to use these canvas sheets. You buy the canvas sheets. It's a canvas sheet. I don't find them uh, good to actually pour on because they curl and drop. If you're going to do a canvas that you're going to do just acrylic art in the normal way, they're excellent. I just, now I probably won't be able to let you see what I'm going to do. Okay, go to plan B. I just put this clean canvas that I've got for my next pour. Uh, over there it was just an idea I just wanted to see how it come out 
you know, like they're all using the chameleon pore with the silicone. I just noticed then, God, it would probably be very tedious, maybe. So it's kind of turned out like a deep print, isn't it, actually? That would be so cool to do this random and then do some leaves on them. Oh, I'm really going off tether now, aren't I? I talk about start on one thing and go to another. <laughs> okay, probably need to... Hmm, okay. I was going to use the canvas and that's how excited and confused I've got. I was going to put the canvas on top of this and now I ended up using that. I kind of thought that I could make those into like tree um, bark and then add some leaves, uh, branches with a brush. Wow. Okay, I could very well go right over that with this, but it was just a mid-idea. I'll come back to that and keep with what I was going to do. See, crazy brain I've got goes, jumps from one to the other. But, I don't know, like, you can see that you could really work it with your splay brush, which you use for branches on trees oh, and I think I could do something with that but I'm going to put that aside for now because I'm going right off track and I'm so sorry but it's my crazy head keep to the one thing I've dipped that I'm going to keep doing what I was doing because I'm so sorry for going way off track that's my crazy brain thinking instead of sticking with what I'm doing I'm already got crazy ideas in the head for the next thing Lying in bed at night thinking, oh, Barbara, oh, so-and-so, oh, I could use, it just drives you crazy when you think, thinking of artistic things to change it up a bit, or do, just to try new things. It's very exciting. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. My friend Julia's loved it too. She's really been eager to get out here. Obviously, a broken uh, wrist in the accident that happened while she's here has, has laid her up a bit and uh, held us back a bit. But she's been excellent, really. Not complained of pain or anything. And she really must be in pain. Oh, that's a nice one too, isn't it? Okay, I just need to... Really what I will do with that, I will put my little tiny water balloon on those areas. That would be the go. Oh, look at those, so pretty. Hang on, I'll just rearrange these so I can put them over the top of that Santa spew and show you. Very pretty. Oh. Actually, look at that one. Look at that. Ooh, that is so pretty. Very, very pretty. Okay, I'll just try and give you a close-up over that. And then, if I've got my little teeny tiny balloon, it's just an ordinary balloon that I put a water in it to give it a little bit of weight to use. Oh, sorry, guys, I've got this right out of the frame, haven't I? Oh person I am okay that's cute that's really nice to the way round to the way that way that looks nice that way actually and the others Ooh. oh look at that such pretties very pretty yeah, let me know what you think. Um, just put on my Acrylic Art with Jilly Cube Facebook page how absolutely overwhelmed I am. I, I know I'm only a tiddle, uh, tiddly, tiddly tiny YouTuber with, with 
my um, subscribers have just gone over 18,000 and I am so excited about that to give me this opportunity at this time in my life for something I really enjoy doing. So for my subscribers and, and watchers of my YouTube channel, I thank you so much, so very much from the bottom of my heart. Thank my husband who's been so supportive in this journey, helped me set up things, set up tables new guys for actually watching me so thank you and if you haven't subscribed please press the little subscribe button um, if you want further information about my pouring medium and how i've made up this acrylic flow paint press pr press 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 there's a little drop down like a little v and the bottom right hand of the screen press that there's a drop down box and i'll put, i usually put uh, all the recipe in there that i've used for my pouring medium, also a link to the online um, acrylic uh, a online site to all the products that I buy for my acrylic art, Capriol, Shabby Chic. It's an online, it's a family run business, um, which I absolutely love to endorse family run small businesses. Um, they're really reasonable price. They're very excellent service and um they're great so have a hop onto their site and if there's anything there that you can't find that you see that i use just drop diane or anthony a line and they'll let you know so always happy to um try and help out small family-run businesses really are so there you go guys hope you enjoyed that if I just give you one more second of my little balloon in case you say you mentioned the balloon and you didn't even show us because you were yabbling. This is the teeny tiny little balloon I just had with water. It just gives that bit of weight. You could either like these where the paint didn't hit. I could just do teeny tiny little, see little teeny tiny balloon kisses. They're so cute. And they can often turn out like little fairies in your work. They turn out really cute. So it's another little idea. You can even pick up a bit of the paint off and um, obviously push it on. Or if there's an area you don't particularly like, just give it this tiny little balloon kiss. Not too much pressure, but just, just the right amount, I suppose, to give it a little bit of an impression in there so there you go all good until next time um, thank you thank you for watching and let me know what you think